Hi there, welcome back to Cuban Slang channel, the only channel where you'll find videos about Cuban Slang words and phrases are used daily in Cuba, Cuban Slang verbs, meanings, conjugation, and real life examples, some nice places you can visit if you're planning to travel to Cuba, social life, typical food, and some more useful information that I try to explain to you in English as much as I can. In today's lesson, you're gonna learn these Spanish words Cuban people used to mispronounce. So if you want to have some fun, please don't go anywhere and keep watching till the end. But before we get started, I would like to remind you three simple things. Thing number one, if you start enjoying the content, give me a thumbs up. Thing number two, subscribe to this channel. And thing number three, don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you won't miss out my latest videos. All right, let's get started at once. How are we going to do this? Firstly, I'm gonna pronounce the mispronounced word. Secondly, I'm gonna say the right version of the word, the way we use it today and the right way it's used. And I'm gonna repeat the right version of the word two or three times. That way you can catch it and keep it in mind. It's meaning in English. Then we're gonna set some example. Very important, I always try to set some examples that are real in Cuban slang, everyday vocabulary. And finally, we're gonna translate that example into English. All right, so the first word that I bring you today is this one, trompezón. The right way to say this word is tropezón, tropezón, tropezón. And it means a stumble, or some others say a trip. So it's when you stumble or almost fall due to catching your foot on something. So, for example, él dio un tropezón que por poco se cae. He stumbled and almost fell. A fun fact that I found when I was doing a little research about this word, I actually found that this mispronounced word was actually used and it stopped being used since 1918, but nowadays it's not used anymore. So, today we say tropezón, not Trompezón. Some Cuban people say isoleto or oxoleto to make reference to obsoleto. 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 Obsolete. Something that is not used anymore. For example, el término español trompezón está obsoleto. The Spanish word trompezón is obsolete. It's not used anymore. Next word. This is a new word for Cubans. Even though it's trying to stay in our everyday vocabulary, because this is a new reality in Cuba, but a lot of people I've heard, they say mi pime instead of mi pime. And mi pime in Spanish means micros, pequeñas y medianas empresas. Micro, small and medium sized enterprises. And this is a new reality in Cuba. You probably know that Cuba is in a crisis, very big crisis. It's not secret for the world. And these micro, small and medium-sized enterprises are actually helping a lot because they bring basic products from abroad, sell them in Cuba. And sometimes the prices vary a lot. So taking this into account, the example would be Este viernes, en la feria, una mi pyme estaba vendiendo el aceite a un precio más barato. There was a mi pyme selling cheaper soy oil in this Friday's fair. I've heard some people saying pisotion instead of pisotón. 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 Means a stamp. But when I was doing some research in English, realize that it means when you are frustrated or angry and you stamp your foot against the ground but in this case we make reference to stamp your foot against another person's foot unintentionally for example something that happens very usually is ella le dio un pisotón sin querer she stamped his foot unintentionally sometimes i felt a little bit weird when I heard some people saying diferencia instead of diferencia. Diferencia, diferencia. It means difference. El cubano se diferencia de otras personas en su forma de hablar. ¿No es verdad? A Cuban person's speech is different from another person's speech, especially if that person is from another nationality. Isn't it? The next word is mispronounced sometimes even for me. <laughs> the thing is that you know that Spanish is very rich 
in vocabulary and sometimes we can confuse some words but well when a boy cannot stop and he's playing all the time he's in action all the time some people say that this boy is imperactivo but that's wrong okay the right way to say this word is hyperactivo 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 it means hyperactive for example él es un niño hyperactivo nunca se queda quieto he is a hyperactive boy he never stays quiet oh my god poor mom i was mispronouncing this word for some months actually wow and then i realized hey stop just one minute am i saying this word correctly i was saying desmoldar instead of desmoldar 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 it means to take something out of a mold. For example, antes de desmoldar mis jabones naturales hechos a mano, los dejo congelar por dos horas. Before I take my natural handmade soaps out of their mold, I let them freeze for two hours. I've heard some people, especially some children, saying or even reading esconder instead of esconder. <laughs> esconder, esconder. It means to hide. For example, cuando yo era niña solía esconderme para que otros me hallaran. Este juego en Cuba se le llama el escondido. When I was a child, I used to play a game that is called hide and seek. I used to hide and let my friends to find me. And the last word for today's video is actually a phrase. And some people say ahorita mismo instead of ahorita mismo. The thing is that they don't pronounce the A which is the first letter of the first word. So instead of saying ahorita, they say ahorita, but that's wrong. The right form is ahorita mismo. It means right now, a few minutes or a few seconds ago. For example, imagine I'm looking for Luis because I need to talk to him about a very important topic. I go to his neighbor's house and ask his neighbor, ¿No has visto a Luis por aquí? Me hace falta verlo. And his neighbor answers, ¿Ahorita mismo? Se fue de aquí. Have you seen Luis hereabouts? I need to find him. He just left right now. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. Thank you so much for all your kind comments. It's very special when you get up and you are on your phone and then you find a very sincere and kind comment. For example, this morning I received a sincere comment and the person typed I subscribed to your channel in the first 30 seconds I was watching it and I was wow that's amazing thank you so much for being subscribed and if you're not subscribed yet please don't hesitate anymore and subscribe remember you can follow me on Instagram I have always something new to show you on my stories about Cuban slang my daily life and other stuff don't forget to support my other YouTube channel in Spanish about natural cosmetics and see you in my next videos Bye-bye.